Lesson 4 Shivaji's Childhood Let me tell you the story of Shivaji, his birth and childhood. Birth of Shivaji Shahaji was working for the Nijam Shah of Ahmadnagar, a period of decline for the Nijam Shahi and unsettled days in the life of Shahaji. Shahaji faced great dangers because on one hand he was attacked by Shah Jahan from the north and on the other hand the Adil Shah of Bijapur burned the main town of Shahaji Raje that is Pune. Shahaji was in great trouble. He was constantly on the run moving from one place to another. At this time Chijabai was pregnant and therefore Shahaji wanted to keep her in her safe place. The thought of Shivneri came to his mind. Vijayraj, a relative of the Bosleys, was in charge of the fort. Shivneri near Junar in Pune district was a strong fort with massive doors and steep cliffs on four sides. Vijayraj agreed to give protection to Jijabai. Shahaji left Jijabai in Shivneri and marched against the Mughals. On the 19th of February 1630, that is, on the auspicious day of Falgun Vadya Tritya in the year 1551 of the Shaka era, the golden day dawned to the sounds of pipes and drum. Chijabai gave birth to a son. There was great joy in the fort. On the twelfth day of the child birth, Shivaji was named in the fort of Shivneri. He was called Shivaji because he was born in the fort which was called as Shivneri. This is the story of Shivaji's birth. Shivaji's Childhood Shivaji lived in unsettled conditions for the first six years of his life. Threats of wars, attack by enemies. Even in such situation, Chijabai did not neglect Shivaji's education. She shared all her love on him and told him stories of Rama and Krishna. Bhim and Abhimanyu. She narrated stories of pious person, saints. She recited the devotional songs of saints like Namdev, Nyaneshwar or Eknath. Now devotional songs are Abhangs, Ovis which we have already learnt about. Now this instilled in Shivaji great respect for the great saints. Shivaji liked to listen to the deeds of brave men and wanted to display valour like them. Shivaji played with children from the poor families, the mavlas. He went to their huts, shared their simple meal of onion and bhakri. The mavlas imitated sounds of birds like kaku, parrot and animal like tiger. They built small forts of earth. They made earthen elephants and horses. They played hide and seek and at times with a ball and a top. Shahaji Raje towards the Mughals. Now Shahaji was satisfied because he had left Shivaji's mother Jijabai in the Shivaneri fort. Shahaji now returned to the Nijam Shahi but was not happy and had no peace of mind. Nijam Shah believed in gossips. Therefore many conspiracies. What is conspiracies? That means secret plans to do something bad. And because of this, there was rivalries. Everywhere there was a time where people were confused because of the fickle-minded person called the Nijam Shah. Because of all this, Lakhuji Rao Jadav was killed. This made Shahaji very furious. He left the Nijam Shahi and joined the Mughals. 
Shahjahan made him a sardar at the court. Now, Fateh Khan, we know this person we read in the last lesson about him. He is the wazir of the Nizam Shahi, but he was a bad man. He joined hands with the Mughals and killed Nizam Shah. Therefore, the Mughals rewarded him the territory under Shahaji Raji's control. Now, this enraged Shahaji. Because of this, he left the service of the Mughals. He decided to teach them a lesson. Foundation of a new Nizam Shahi Shahaji Raje found a child heir from the Nizam Shah family and declared him as the new Nizam Shah on the fort of Pimgiri near Junar. A new kingdom which included the territory between River Godavari and Nira was established. Shivaji fought. Shahaji fought vigorously to protect the new state. And initially, Adil Shah was with him. He supported him. But Shah Jahan threatened him. And therefore, Adil Shah got scared. So he signed a treaty of friendship. He made friends with Shah Jahan against Shahaji. Now poor Shahaji had to fight both the Mughals and the Adil Shah using guerrilla tactics. Guerrilla tactics is a warfare. It's a type of tactics, a warfare used against the enemy. Now he could not sustain fighting both the enemies, Shah Jahan and Adil Shah. So unwillingly, he signed a treaty of peace with the Mughals. Though he could not create his own kingdom, his daring spirit kindled confidence among the Maratha people. This proved useful for Shivaji in establishing Swaraj few years later. Chijabai and Shivaji in Karnataka After the downfall of Nichamsha, Nichamsha was on a decline. Now, Shahaji established a new territory. Now, what happened here? The Mughals and Adil Shah were one and the territory that Shahaji lost was divided among them. Now, poor Shahaji, he had nothing left with him. But Adil Shah had the portion called Pune and Supe. So he had a soft corner for Shahaji. He gave this part, that is Pune and Supe, to Shahaji. Shahaji was very happy. He so once again joined the Adil Shah. Adil Shah gave him the task of conquering the territories of Karnataka. So Shahaji departed to Karnataka. Chijabai and Shivaji also joined him there. Shivaji's childhood in Maharashtra was hectic, busy running from one place to another. Now, at this time, Shivaji heard many brave deeds of his father. Chijabai and Shivaji got peace in Karnataka after a long, long time. Shahaji Raje defeated many kings in Karnataka. Adil Shah was happy with him and awarded him with the Chagir of Bangalore. Shahaji Raje made Bangalore his headquarters. He lived as a king and began to summon the court. Thank you.